My name is Ronnie Goodless and you're watching Toffee TV. Welcome to Toffee TV with me, Paired Baz. We're joined in the studio by Ronnie Goodless. We're here to talk about Stoke Nil, Everton 3. It is the final word. Absolutely another amazing win, Baz. We can be positive for once. Three. We've talked about three 3-0 three wins in a week. Um, amazing. Who would have thought it? Who would have tweeted <laughs> after Man City? Everton could quite easily win five on their own. And it wouldn't make them come back to me going, don't be stupid. And there's off. Yeah. And it won't make a won't make a blind bit of be, difference. Yeah, right? Bit of bit of notice. It's uh, uh, listen. Got your old lingo, that's all I'm gonna say. Sure we'll be talking more about that <laughs> one, but um three wins in a in a in a week, three three nils, three clean sheets on. I mean have you noticed sort of any massive change, or is it just I don't know the teams we've played? Is it, no, I think after that, as you say, massive disappointment. I think um, you know we when we done our phone and um, after the City game, I thought we got a few things wrong, um, and you know obviously with the Lennon one, I mentioned that over mm. bringing uh, Delafeo off. Why in the life of me, he never put uh, Lennon on. I still can't get my head around that he brings Coney on. It's offering Man City to come on to us and. Uh, that pace that we're seeing now in, in the, the recent games of uh, Aaron Lennon is it was a no-brainer for me. But I think a game which we, we've gone on a lot about over Tim Howard and John Stones, you know, we've, we've had a lot of... It's no coincidence for me that the two of them haven't played. Yeah. I think we look defensively better. I think the, the lad in goal is... What else does he need to do? Uh, I've said all along and again, not just after the event, um, he, he, he's getting better every game and he, he's looking, you know, the authority at the back that we've got now and again against difficult teams, you know, Newcastle had to win, okay, they wasn't the best team in the world but you still had to win but going to Stoke on Saturday, mm. that was the market for me, I thought, uh, pouring down with rain as it always does at Stoke, uh, windy, gales, everything yeah. and, and you can go there and put in a performance like that. Is fabulous, you know, not just going forward, scoring the goals, but how solid we look, and everybody seems to be playing for each other. Um, you know, Robles, I say, behind, I just think the back four look, look a lot more. Well, let confident. me ask you something about Robles then, because I mean, in, it's it, you can argue it the other way, and some believe me, some people are saying that he hasn't had anything to do in the last three games, so you can't really see that as a true reflection, you know. But if I mean, you're the next player to you, is it? Even if it's a placebo effect, where it's like it's just in your mind, how much of a difference does that make as a defender and or as a team thinking? As a fan. Yeah, well, and, and and well, we know as a fan what difference it makes. But from a, a player's point of view, if you've if you've got something in the background, you think that's different. We don't have to worry about that this week. Does that make a massive difference to the way well, it you is can a, play? Again, you know, the, you know, the old cliche you've got to have a, the spine of the team. You know, the keeper. You know, you know why are Arsenal pushing now with checking up? Mm. You know, no coincidence. You got Courtois. You know, a Chelsea world class. Okay, they won it last year. They're, they're struggling this year, but not. It's not down to the keeper. And then you go through. You know. You know how many teams have got top draw United keepers? United are where they are. Well, the top five of the game. Yeah. Top five. Well, well the game. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know. Joe. Maurice at Tottenham. Schmeichel, Schmeichel yeah. at Leicester. Hart. That's right. You know. Hart. Hart. So, so you're looking at all the top clubs have a top yeah. draw keeper. Now, again, going back to the Robles one. Um, you, you can sort of turn around and say, you know, Roberto Martinez was a bit lucky the last three games that the, the two of them were injured, Tim Howard yeah. and John Stones, you know, to, to get the lads in and, and play. But I just think with Robles, world class save against Norwich, kept us in that. Yeah. He's played against two games against City, you know, could still win the Premier League, world class players, never never done anything wrong. I think his distribution's super. Oh, yeah. Uh, catching, his kicking's better. And, and I actually see them, you know, giving it to the back four. Oh, he's them big time. Well, well, well that's lovely. You, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's the old point when I'm saying it's growing, you know, mm. because he's saying now, uh, I don't look out of place here. Mm. You know, we've said it all along. I think Baz yourself yeah. have, have banged the drum. Yeah, I've said come, it come all say, along. I've said that a couple of times. And, and, yeah, but I'm saying last <laughs> season as well. But yeah. I think this year especially yeah. because, you, you know, you can go on about your Messi's and Ronaldo's getting straight back into the team. But Tim Howard hasn't played that well for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then when you get a lad coming in, I, I keep saying, what, what has he got to do? You know, you can come out with stats, but especially in goal, clean sheet, clean sheet. I think he's known as, as Joe, you know, Josie Robles, clean sheet. You know, uh, so so Baz when he, he used is to now. Play, well, when Baz used to play for side, Baz, goal. You know, <laughs> but, no, no, but it's something, as I say, that it, it really filters through. And I think back four players, um, you know, you end up if you're playing against mm. him. It's like Stoke, we've got to get a great cross in here because if you hang it up there, this big fella is yeah. going to run out, catch you, and distribute you it. Go, yeah. You know, he, he, he's done throws the last games where, as I say, we're on the attack then. Yeah. Mm. And he, he really does look good. Now, uh, what he'll do, 
Catch-22 on Saturday or, you know, million-dollar question, is he going to bring Tim Howard back in? Now, if he's fit... Don't do it. Um, well, I, th I think, again, Peds, I think that not, not just at Everton, I think all over, there'll be a few eye eyebrows raised because he'll be thinking, again, what's he doing that for? Mm. Now, if he does do it, I think it sends a bad message out to the rest. You know, the, the, the you know crowd, you talk, well, when the you talk Beverly's and all yeah. these who's coming to the side doing a bit, yeah. you know, Bessic again, um, going back to the Roberto Martinez one, we wouldn't have seen Bessic if, if there wasn't injuries. Yeah. Then all of a sudden he yeah. comes in, doesn't look out of place. Well, what a good player he is now, but what a player he's going yeah. to be. And that's what you've got to do. So it says to the rest of the squad, you know, if you're good enough and you get in this team, you're not going to get out of the team. But if he does it on Saturday, I think there's going to be a few crashes on with, uh, especially playing against West Brom. The crowd for a start. I've, we said um, this last week, said this last week. If the Newcastle game, if, if Robles had been dropped, if Howard had been fit, um, the crowd would have automatically been on a downer. There, there would have been grumblings. It gives it gives people a reason to have a go with the manager, and yeah. that's what we're saying. Take that away. You know, take the pressure off yourself by just. It's not. I know managers are not supposed to listen to the fans, but now and again, why, why not? You know, it's common but sense, isn't it? One of the things I'd say is, and I'm sure Ronnie will back it up, is that when people say he's had nothing to do, so you can't really mm. test them. Good players. Look, make everything look simple. Yeah. Right? And Joel makes everything look simple. He yeah. comes for crosses. He come for one on Saturday. He stood it up, three of them coming in back stick. He just took it out the sky. Yeah. Bowls it out like he's going bigger. Get the the more time you look at him, you think he's, he's, he's about eight foot six. He's mm. massive. But, you, you know, again, you know, you're right. I mean, um, you, you can say that about Tim Howard. Um, you know, there's games that he never, you know, had a lot to do. But one or two things, he was letting goals in. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't if we were getting like 20 shots a game. Now, the Rob Les one, and, and I'll go back to it, if you've got a, a reputation as a good goalkeeper, you're petter checks mm. and you can go to Gale, as you say, mm. you're thinking, I've got to get a special shot to beat this fella, or a great cross to go past him. And, and again, he's just plucking things out the air, and you're thinking, you know, back four players, if anything's just going over my head, he's going to get this. I said that a couple of weeks ago, actually, about our goalies don't tend to have that much to do because we have so much possession. And Schmeichel actually said it on, he was on he was on the uh, Sky, and it was talking about the Man United-Liverpool game, and talking about the Hair having such a good game. So that's what separates the really good goalies and the average goalies. Really good goalies don't have anything to do for 20 minutes, and then they have yeah. to make one save. Yeah. And that's I suppose right. you can say the same about Roll. Well, your look concentration at, levels have got to be fantastic. Exactly. Look, at, look at the you Chelsea know. game. Tim Howard had nothing to do. Yeah. And then suddenly he's got something to do and completely fluffs that kick. Yeah. And Chelsea are back in the game. Mm. And, you know, that won't happen, I don't think, with Robles because he spends half of the game in the opposition, you know, outside of his Well, Tim Howard won, I think, is, as well, when he's come out and he's tried to win it like a, a back four player as a tackle. I think if Robles was running that yet, I, I don't think he'd have gone in, Costa, although he's player, a hard yeah. lad. If he's coming out and sliding, and mm. I know he's just out the area, but if you put your body yeah. as if you're coming, you know, you're not going to handle it. I think he can't. I'll leave it till the next one comes along. But but again, I just think, you know, every game he's played, uh, you know, defensively we've looked a lot better. And I think with uh, John Stone say getting out the you know the line of fire yeah. with Mori and Jags, um, they're proper defenders. They just want to defend. And again, we, we we'd love you to play football, but you've shown like with the Stoke results, mm. you, you can go to places and still put in a fantastic performance that you know supporters want to watch, and you, you haven't got to play this nice. Football, possession football at the back all the time. We'll stick him with John Stones. I mean, we've talked about this as well. We've talked about this in the past. Especially in Newcastle a couple of years ago. You know, the headband on, covered in blood. Mm. Still going off the headers. I mean, you can do that, can't you? It's not a case of, oh, if you're going to continue defending like this, you have to play those two. John Stones, you just got to get back to that, hasn't he? Going back to defending properly. And, and the manager's got to insist on that as well because... The manager's just let him get away far too much this season for me. And that, I think that's been his biggest problem. No, well, the thing is, as well, Ped, I think a lot of, not just being Evertonis, I think a lot of, of, of other players that you bump into, ex-pros, and you start talking about them, he's lost the basics of defending. Mm. You know, he's been told you're a fantastic footballer, you know, great, but that's why he's called a defender. Yeah. You've got to defend. <laughs> now, again, I'll go back to your Barcelona's with Puglia and all these. Puglia couldn't really pass a ball. But he, I tell you what, he put his head in there where it hurts. And, and if PK wants to do that, he, he, he can that, do it. Yeah. Exactly. So you've got to defend all the best defenders the last 25, 30, 40, 50 years. And you can rattle them up for, at centre half. You know, Tony Adams, Keown, um, you know, even as, you know, yeah, from. But, but, but you can just go, what's, you know, Waggy, 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 I'll even, you know, say himself, wasn't the best passer of a ball. But I tell you what, I'd rather have him when you're going to war mm. and you're in the trenches. And again, proper defender. 
And then the rest of through the team, you just say, give it to them and they can play. And I just think the more that we're, we're seeing this and we're playing with a bit of pace, we can hit teams on the break. Mm. It, it's looking good. You don't have to play slow from the back. But, I, but, I said last week at Carlisle, when obviously Stones was missing, he, you know, he wasn't in the team, he dressed them. We just looked like a totally different... Once we got over that first 10 minutes when Mori tried the silly overhead kick and yeah. he can come off, we yeah. looked like a better team just for clearing our lines. Seeing it again against Newcastle, him and Jagielka just put the foot through. The least dangerous place on the pitch is their, their corner flag, their box. Yeah. Saturday, yeah. in that day, it was bouncing, Jagielka was launching it, so was Mori. We can still play that great football. That one such yeah. quick stuff can be done. It doesn't always have to come from the goalkeeper rolling it out to stones yeah. and in training. People can't don't seem to be able to get the head round the fact that let your defenders defend, let them yeah. do what they do, and everyone mm. else in our team will. But take that's the what ball you pay your money for as well. Don't you like seeing a, a, like um, a fella going up for the header? Mm. You know, you know, you, you've seen Seamus do like a, a flying header to get the goal. Mm. But when someone, I mean, I, I, I comment on it all the time. You know, when it's a good defensive header, Gareth Barry comes back, gets whipped in. Yeah. And then he'll get his head in there where it hits and heads it clear. Yeah. You, you know, fantastic. Yeah, about and, and, and that's why it's a team game. Yeah. You know, you, you get players who can defend, but I still think supporters love seeing a tackle. They love seeing, you know, a, a fantastic save. But you put your head in there where it hits and you're defending. You're, yeah. you're, you know, you're playing for the badge and you're going to be prepared to mm. put your head in there well, where it is. Do you know the other thing, mate, is that when, and I love John Stones, he's a brilliant player, yeah. but at the moment, I've fallen out with him over the last two months because I think he's been garbage. And people mm. are going, no, it's just been the odd mistake. It hasn't. Mm. Go back and just watch how many mistakes he's actually made. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted yeah. to get back to defend them. But I love the fact that teams now... The other week, Swansea came down to Goodison, right? And they were crap at that time. They were poor. And all they done, anyone... That fella had walked in off the streets, as far as I'm concerned, their manager. And he's had a little look at a couple of videos and gone, just press their two centre half and you get the ball. Yeah. And that's yeah. all they've done. Yeah. Now, if they'd have come down with Mori and Jags, we'd have turned them over 4 0. Because yeah. the, it's, there's no more slow passing along the back line, so it's easy to press. It's You can't go short, because first of all, the goalie doesn't roll it out. The goalie yeah. just goes, and go away. I'm yeah. going long, go away. Yeah. And we're going more down but there. Lukaku looks happier. Yeah. Everyone looks happier. We defend them properly, and we look like a team now, for me, that can do real damage till the end of the season. But that's what I said over John Stones with the, with the penalty, because I was saying, who do you blame for the pen? You know, I know Tim Howard steps back and volleys yeah. it. But if he's actually done a few turns and then eventually gives it to Tim Howard, what's Tim Howard going to do? He's just going to launch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we said so, that loads. So, so the old thing is, instead, that in, 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 instead of saying, yeah, I'm going to knock it to you, just turn the right and ping it down yeah, the line. That's right. Great. So, you, you know, again, it's not like, oh, I like, beat John Stones, but, it, but as no. I said before, he's got to get back. Yeah. So why Everton signed him? Why he looks such a good player? You know, when he when he's reading the game good, he, he yeah. can, as you said, he can, you know, have a bit of claret on his head now and again. But I think it's it's now his head maybe have turned and he's looking. I'm a fantastic player. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know he's, he's still a kid, and he's still here. But I think it, it, it'll do him the world of good being out the team. Mm, definitely. And, and you know, the three wins on the bounce is, is great. It, it sends yeah. a message, I think, to to all the squad. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll have to wait for the team sheet to come out on Saturday. Who, who gets picked? But I want to see him chat on the bench now. No, but well, well, again, it's going like the Tim Howard one. You just turn and say this team's done really well yeah, since you've been out. Here. Just sit there and, and watch, watch it, it for a week yeah. or two. And if you can't get in, and again, if the levels go up and Lennon and all these... But yeah. Same with Delafay, yeah. you know, everyone's going on about it. 11 assists, he can't get in. Well, exactly, but, but, but that's, that's why they that's call it a squad game, yeah. though. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and Lennon's took his chance. And you'd have streaks of form as well, don't you? And yeah. I mean, the ob most obvious one is Adam Lennon, isn't it, at the moment? Who's, <laughs> going back to what you were saying, you know, we sat here two weeks ago scratching our head. Why did he bring Coney in against Man City when he had the pace of Adam Lennon there, you know, Come on, can get us up the line, can get us into. And I was the out ball is what I was. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. have an out ball, and you bring yeah. Coney on to be the out ball, and you're thinking, what are you doing? We were still very much in that game, and then you've seen in the last three games the diff. I mean, it took him what a minute and a half against Carlisle to get round the back and set yeah. a goal up for uh, for Coney. You, you know, you've seen him yeah, on but you, Yeah, but you stop them playing pet. The, yeah. the other thing about it, if you know there's no threat going that way, you can push him because Coney's not going to run. Yeah, you. but you can say that say, well, Alan Lennon's come on and he's fresh legs. You know, I, I've got to watch that one. And as you say, if you're under pressure, you just take corner yeah. flags and say, well, right, if you, if, if you want to chase it and then knock it out for the throw-in, you know, we've made that, 67 That City game, they were so far back because they knew that Delafayo oh, would do that. 
But when Coney come on, he just walked off 15 yards because yeah. he thought, I, I, he's I, not going to out-sprint you. I, I, well, I thought again, you know, we were all disappointed, but I think that since we've thought about that, again, I think Roberto made the wrong decisions. I mm. really do. And it, it, it cost us in the end because they just keep coming back. Yeah, it's ways. And, um, you know, we can go on about John Stones with the other, you know, with, with Aguero should have pushed over. You yeah. can see the danger. Yeah. But um, I thought that was a major decision, mm. it really was, and I, and I thought he got that wrong. But as you say, it, it's it's winning now, it's up to the manager to mm. say, well, look, uh, form we're going by. It's, yeah. it's easy to say, mm. you know, Roy Hodgson yeah. says it over England, well, if it's form players, will the likes of Tom Cleverley and Aaron Lennon get a chance to get in the mm. squad? Because I look around, I mean, there's a dearth of talent down the right side, especially. Yeah. You know, we're going about midfield players, you know, Ross Barkley, Deli Alley and all these kids. But you feel like saying, well... He could get in the back door because he's looking sharp. I mean, it yeah. looks like he, he, he's virtually had just had a pre-season yeah. and, and he's running. He's and and again, this is where, you know, I said at the start of the month, massive month for us mm. to pick up points and, and beat Bournemouth. Yeah. And I looked at Bournemouth yesterday, you know, I think we owed them one after the, uh, mm. the draw. Yeah. But, you know, if you played them right and similar going back to Lennon, his defensive, you know, work has been great. I mean, I think that's where the De La Feu and him, uh, he wins hands down there to... Yeah, you know, you know to, to track back and again getting a good relationship with Seamus. So mm. uh, I think you know positive, but it's, it's places where you've got to go, sort of like Stoke with defensive like qualities. And I think you know Rob Les has come through it, and I think uh, you mm. know the likes of uh, you know Murray and, and the back four mm. have, have, have done really well. What what I thought as well on Saturday was the, you know you could see they wanted that clean sheet as well. There was pla you know I've heard people saying last few weeks. No one looks like they want a clean sheet. They're happy to go and win a game 4 3 yeah, yeah. or 4 2. Whereas on Saturday, it was a real intense, even towards the end, yeah. not to give a goal up. You know? And I think that's that's not just Robles, that's Foons Mare, Jags, all of them really. Well, the one, well, the one the that I haven't mentioned, and I think he's done fabulous, and I met him on the train coming back from London, um, Oviedo. Oviedo, yeah. yeah. Now, again, and I think it's because of his defensive qualities against Stoke. He's thought, yeah, you know, Baines is fantastic going forward. Now, I don't know what he'll do here. But, you know, if you've got Shaqiri against you and then he, you get him took off and you're still bombing forward. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, you know, horrendous broken leg he had. He's come back fantastic. His worth ethic is fantastic. But you can see as a bunch, you know, not just Seamus has yeah. gone where they all run over. You can actually see at the end, we've got a clean sheet. Mm -hmm. You know, we've won 3-0. Yeah. Is right. And, th and that's what it's about well, as a team. You know, when um, Butland hits it out and Morris tried to nick it, you know, whether he should have done yeah. that or he should yeah, yeah. have done, but they've got through yeah. and the kid cuts it back. There's Everton the burst and the guts are getting in the box. When it broke wide to yeah. that, I think it was Hoshley or whatever it was running in, they were, I think they had four on, on two and yeah. when the actual cutback comes, it's four on four, players have burst back yeah. to get in there, That's you know, nice. and Ireland blazes it over, but Everton yeah. have caught up. I, don't, I think three weeks ago, did they stay four on two? Players have just been jogging back. Well, as you said, when he's blasted that over, they've, they've all, given they've all gone yeah. like that. You know, as you say, it is right. And, and as I say, it, it just bodes well if the manager gives everyone a chance. And, and you're a player, you've been a player, and me and you have had this discussion before, is that when you get in, if you're not first choice, and you get in and perform, and we've all done it, we've all played in teams, if you perform, you should keep your shit. And oh, if, yeah. if you're playing well and then Pep yeah. comes back and he's fit and he's been the number one and you go, sorry, Don, you, you've been great, yeah. but he's back in, you're just going to think... No, but the thing is, a professional, the it's not nice any standard, no, whether it's no. Sunday League or whatever. Mm. You, you want to play, but you've got to self-assess yourself and mm. turn around and say, no, this fella's playing well and, yeah, I, I can see it. And then but I keep saying it, for him. but when you come in, that's when you've got to get hold of it and grasp it. But, mm. but, but as you say, if you've got your certain, say, favourites, shall we say, for the want of a better word, mm. it, it, it's not good for the squad. It really, no. It's really not. I, I think I, I someone know. like, I think there's there's obviously, there's probably one or two positions where you'd go, you can understand, like mm. Lukaku, for instance, we haven't at the moment, until we haven't seen Nias, obviously, but we haven't got a, a replacement for Ron. So if Ron yeah, was yeah. out for a yeah. few weeks and yeah. he was fit, he would play, because we haven't got... We haven't well, got well, the nice thing, he's the only one, really, isn't he? Well, well, he probably you're, is you're now because I'm just going to go and well, go players. midfield. I don't know. I just, think, I just think everyone's getting fit, mm. but I just hope seriously that Tim Howard and John Stones are fit and see what he does. Because yeah. again, it's easy to go now, give it another week, and then it comes through. And, and this is why Stoke, you know, I wanted him fit for Stoke and see what he'd have done. Mm. So the lad again done nothing wrong, but I think there'll be a lot of grumbles. I really do if, if Tim Howard just comes straight back. Well, in it's massive now, isn't it? Because yeah. the kids got in and. I think someone done a stat, and again, don't quote me, but I think 
It's five Premier League clean sheets. The last five Premier League games he's played. Robles two this year, obviously, and three last season. So that for me is, uh, you know, that's that says everything, doesn't it? Yeah. People who are quick to judge him and go, oh, he's not good enough." Hmm. Who haven't seen him, which is a ridiculous. No, but I think recent. I think maybe last year you might say. You know the experience and and, and he's come and he, he he looked a bit. That Palace game last year though. Well, well mm. he sort of um. It's fantastic. He, you know he was he didn't look anti shall we say? You know um you know but the signs but he seems to have really in in himself and in his head. Yeah. I'm good enough to Is be here. It clear? It seems and, I, and, I'm, and I'm good. And again, if you keep getting dropped yeah. and thinking, God, what have I got to do in training? Mm. What have I got to do in match days? You do get this mm. and and you know what he's done now. If it happens on Saturday, it's like a step. Back yeah. for him, you know, but yeah. um, we'll have to wait and see. Well, you know, all positive, as I said, I thought, I thought the, that was the best we've played away since I mean, the Southampton game. That's our game, yeah. that's the first time we've won there for but, eight but years. But Braz, it should, have been, it should have been about seven. It should, yeah, it I, should I, I kept saying to, to other, yeah. you know, fellas around me, I was going, you know, if, if, you know, it's like when you come back and you go, God, we could have won seven. You yeah. know, so it's like we've had nine shots on target, but we actually could we have. Actually yeah. should. Nolan's made a couple of, well, he's made. Three, two or three it's great saves. That one from Lukaku. You know, yeah. he, he had no right to save Lukaku's header, really. Yeah. Um, the and one from Coney. Coney probably should have done a little bit better. Yeah. And, and the, but he's made three great saves. And we've had. But I, 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 what, I, what I loved about the second half was we did, we did push, we did press yeah, at the right yeah. times. I thought Ross Barkley was brilliant again. Yeah. Talk to uh, James McCarthy. McCarthy. I mean, I was going to come on to McCarthy. I mean, he's made a massive difference, hasn't he, since he's come back? Since he, the last couple of games, he's looked genuinely fit. He looks yeah. fit and he's making a big difference. I'd, I'd say Saturday was his best performance since Wolfsburg at home. Because hmm. he looks to me like he looked yeah, at James McCarthy in the first season. But don't you think incredible. it's a kick up the backside for all of them? Yeah. Because yeah. Bessage has got Bessage great press, yeah. you know, uh, and again for the right reasons. Yeah. But you're thinking, hang on, I, I want a bit of this. I, I want to get yeah. back to the way. A couple of weeks ago, Ron, I. Bessage for me was making other people look stupid. Yeah. Because he came in. And, and the expectations were low. People are saying to me, "Ah, he's rubbish, and he's this, and he's that." And that's just because they that people yeah, are just haven't him. watched him yeah, play yeah, football. Yeah. And I'm sitting there going, "He's not, you know, he's a decent player. Just give him a chance." And he come in, and he just made other people look stupid because yeah. of his work rate. Yeah. And you know when some people go, well. "Well, you can't have this, and you can't, you can't, you can't be that, and you can't, you know, together." Yeah. And best was going, well, I can be all in things. I can be running back to my own corner flag, and then I can be up the other end taking shots yeah. and being. But yeah, but I think a lot didn't know how quick he was. Yeah. Mm. You know, again, you think he's, yeah, he, he's not, and then you see that extra couple of yards, but the more you watch him, yeah. you know, and him and Barry was great. You know, he thinks, well, James McCarthy, you know, if you're watching this, mate, yeah. Tom Cleverley's coming. Yeah. You know, keep saying that, you know, if you're fit and, and you give games, you know, you know, to people, I just think the ones that are out the team and, and you're not, you know, because we paid X amount for Ped, he's getting in. You just yeah. and say, well, no, he's better than him, whether you cost 10 quid or... Or ten million, whatever, yeah. whatever it is. Ten quid would have been too much. <laughs> but they, they looked actually Saturday. They looked like there was a balance to the team mm. as well, which we've we've bemoaned about. Um, can we speak about cleverly? We can. We can. Well, that's what I was going to move on to. Okay. I, I don't believe we can play with two wingers, Ron, simply because of our full backs. Our full backs are far too attacking to allow us to play with two wingers. Mm. Um, it costs us far too many times. And Tom Cleverly, and I'll keep banging the drum. Him at left midfield, and when it got suggested at the beginning of the season, I was like, nah, I didn't even want some cleverly, really. It's bad fit, but I didn't want him. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I didn't mind him as a player, but I thought, left midfield, that doesn't make any sense to me. Gareth Barry's replacement, yes, but the more of Watson at left midfield and the way he allows the full back to get forward and create space for Ross to run into, since he's come back from injury, certainly. He just, it just, it just makes so I, much sense. See, I think, I think it's all about balance. I think he definitely gives us the balance away from the moment we spoke about mm. in the season. I think we can play with two wingers, but I think if we play with two wingers, we've, we've got to have Mori and Jagielka as the centre yeah. half. Mm. We've got to have lads who want to defend. Unless John Stones comes back and does what we know mm. he can, which is go back to just putting his foot through it. Because when Stones got in, just quickly going back to him. He, he was all about the defending um, and it beat bits and pieces in a game where he'd bring the ball up and you'd yeah. go, oh my God, he's amazing, look at him, he'd step out and beat three men, but then yeah. he'd just go back to launching it again yeah. and it's got less and less of the defending and it's all about doing drop at the shoulders and leading the ball up. So I think when you're playing with two wingers, you've got to have lads who just want to put the foot through it to stretch them. Yeah. I think if you're going to be a bit more, certainly away from home, a little bit more pragmatic in terms, at times, 
I think cleverly, ideal on that left. But again, side. with some cleverly, it's his upbringing. You know, he's come from Man United. Yeah, yeah, he's an intelligent yeah. player, and similar way, you know, where we had Dyer at Tottenham. Now, you've got Trippier bombing on, you've got Davis bombing on, and he just sits. He just now again, it's like Gareth Barry. Well, if you're going to bomb, I'll sit there and sit with Tom McGregor. Mm -hmm. I thought Tom cleverly and Oviedo were great, yeah. and, and I think that's why again, if you're going for, because don't forget the pair of them. Started the goal off, you know, and then the penalty yeah, for yeah. Cleverly, but, yeah. you know, which again it's great to see midfield players, you know, making runs like runs that. Past it. But, oh, you, know, you know, the way we were passing it, you know, it wasn't just for passing sake. It was no. basically like, and I think we actually ground Stoke down because yeah. mm. Stoke, especially at the Britannia, I, I thought we made them look very, very ordinary. And I'm oh, thinking, no. when's this going to happen? I think, I think we broke their hearts actually because <laughs> if, if you look at the, uh, you know, we, we again we could have went back to seven. But one when they broke, I watched their back four, and it was very like, will you hurry up and blow the whistle? I can't wait to get off. Mm. And, and it was just, you know, if you can do that to a team like Stoke, especially at home, you know, you're going in the right direction. Mm. But again, it's going back to the way we played as a team, you know, fighting for every ball. If we lose it, let's get back. But I was impressed again, you know, since the Southampton game, when we broke, you know, mm. we're bombing forward. And, and Ross, you know, Ross again, we haven't mentioned him really, but... Um, it's lovely to see a kid who just wants to play football. It's like the Rooney days. Yeah, yeah. Give us the ball. I want to run with it. And again, if he loses it now and again, and again, as long yeah. as there's someone will sit in, yeah. and just just let him do what I was he does. Should have gone down for the pen as well. No, but oh, what a goal! That, what a goal! That would have been. But we're so honest, aren't we? But, but what a goal! That would have been. No, Ron. He broke the. He broke, broke yeah, the play, he up, play up, up on the edge of our box. He runs. 30, 40 yards with it, plays a little one two and then gets it back. And people, every week we sit here going, How are you not seeing how good Ross Barkley is? Because yeah. people still go, oh, It's crap. It's like the Newcastle game when he actually finished. You know, they're yeah. the ones you want to see on match. But that, day. that's it, isn't they're it? Going, go, on, go on, go on. But that would, to me, would have been a perfect example of all his best bits. He broke the play up. Yeah. People tell me that he can't tackle and that yeah. he gets pushed off the ball. He runs. He run, uh, show me, tell me another player. I know he was in the other room before having a big argument with Delhi Ali. But show me another player in the Premier League who can run forty yards with the ball, and the player can't get near him. There's nobody else yeah. who can do yeah. it, you know. And then he's got the awareness to have a little one-two and get it back. And right, his, fin his finishing's not great, but if that goes top corner, no, but the thing is, you get too too much um, analysing plays. You, you, you'd cut Messi apart. Yeah. You'd say yeah. Ronaldo. You, you've got to give a little bit of slack. And again, just think of his positives, what yeah. the kid oh, does. Yeah. Now, again, I know we had um, Baz in, in the room, um, you know, with Ali, or would you have Ali or Barkley? And I think you yeah. said that, you know, obviously Ross. <laughs> but, um, you know, if he became available at the end of the season, let's see you'd have Ali or you'd have Ross Barkley. You know, there'd be a mile long. You know, I'm not saying yeah. Ali won't yeah. get a lot, yeah, yeah. but he's your main man. And again, it's a skill what's going out the game. Yeah. You know, midfield, run. The only thing I'd say, which he'd, he'd get 10 out of 10 performances, is shoot a bit quicker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, instead yeah. of making his mind. Yeah. But as you said, but if he starts running, 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 you're not going to catch well, him. Look, look at the first he's, goal. He's look, look at that first goal. Yeah. Right, all right, oh. it's a great ball by Ovie. It's a great run. But if, if if you haven't got someone who, who does well, that... Well, vision's great. Oh, it's vision's great. Back heel. But again, he's having... Again, no pedi. He mightn't have done that last season. Yeah. And the whole thing about yeah. it is getting that confidence. And, and you know... Supporters, you know, sort of recently, as I sort of saying, yeah, he is one of our own, but he's actually doing it. And the thing with it, uh, you know, as you say, a flick like that is, uh, you know, to do it. Yeah. You, you know, it's easy to talk about it. Well, do it then on a Saturday. Yeah. And he's done it. Well, he does that more and more now. There's one on last Wednesday against Newcastle. Another cross that he put uh, right across. That Fabulous. Put that been but he does that little left shuffle left. with his feet. Yeah. And I didn't even notice at the time. And that's something that... Maybe last year, the year before, he would have done, done somewhere on the pitch that it wouldn't have done anything. But he's now adding these like little bits of skill, and I, 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 I keep on comparing to Zinedine Zidane, honestly, because mm. that I honestly think that's that's the mould of play he is. Where you'd, you'd see Zidane do all these tricks, but he meant something. They yeah. got you, you know. You used to see him drag the ball down and do that little flick, and the fullback was away because of it. You see Ross doing that more yeah. and more, and I don't want to compare him to other players. I think Dele Alli's a brilliant player, but Dele yeah. Alli to me. I've said it loads of time, he's like Steven Gerrard, he runs in straight lines. Ross is just everywhere. No, but if you're seeing Ali on his best day and Ross Barkley on his best day, I know we had watch. Yeah. And as you've said over, that cross is fabulous. And yeah. Maybe it's Lukaku thinking, is it coming in, yeah. isn't it? The lad can go both ways, he can kick with both feet, and that's a fabulous cross. That should have been a tapping. Yeah. And you, you know, and that's another game. All right, it was, it I up. criticised Lukaku for that because I, know, I, 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 I played myself. And, I played, and it's, it's not being, I in, in, you know, jump on Lukaku again because he hasn't scored no, in no, a few games. No. But it's, it's that's what a, but a, a, a centre forward, you know, forward. Jimmy Graves, 
you know, whoever you want to name, you know, it's a side foot from three yards. I said last week I, yeah. I'd be sliding in the oh. fella's shots. Just also, the line and run away like no, I'd score the world. Right. Also, also though, also though, in nineteen in the eighties. Trevor Stevens scored 10 goals a season, might have been at the far post there as well. So, so that's gone out the game as well. Finals, the right back, used to, uh, the right winger used to always be at the, or the left winger used to. No, but it's our full backs now, Pep. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so play Seamus. But, 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 but you know what? We have a Mono Seamus, a Mono Seamus last week. I had no idea that his missus was pregnant. So there you go. Sometimes these things in life can be... And you've uh, got the finger on the pulse, Pep. I, had, well, I can't I'm, believe that. I haven't got the... What's going I on? haven't got that finger <laughs> on that pulse, <laughs> I'm afraid. No, 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 no. Move on. No surgical gloves. Uh, he played well, he played But well. it shows, doesn't it, sometimes, yeah. that you you don't always know what's going on outside, outside of football. You know, you see them week in, week out, and you don't know you've got to be sitting here for nine months properly stressing about the fact that his missus is about to be drunk. Because he scored nine months ago. He scored at the weekend. No, but he's back. I mean, again, like it's <laughs> it's like the relationship what we were saying over uh, the fellow who's playing in front of you. Now, it's obviously Evo Cleverly or if Baines comes back in. But then on the other side, um, you know, it, it's vital. But when you've got Lennon who'll work back, he'll get forward, you've got Seamus will drop in. Because I think, you know, like the end product was always a big question mark with Lennon. But you can't knock his, his work rate. No. No. So similar with that, he's experienced. Same then, last season. No, well, well, I think, you know, the, the last few games, I mean, it, it, it's been superb, it yeah. really has. And I think with Della Famous, we think, well, how, how can I get in after the way I've been playing? You think, well, you've got to get the whole package mm. now. And it, I just think it's really well, it's, good. It's fantastic to see, to know that you've got Della Fayou on the bench there, isn't yeah, it? To look and go, yeah. oh my God, look who did he play. And that's, that's what good sides have. They look and they go, Lennon's playing great. Oh, God, look who they've got on a yeah. bench there. Now, if this in the ass, well, they're not I believe the he's the ass. In the 70s, but we had, we had Benetti and Gore when he said to Bobby <laughs> Charlton and Bowley, he said, go out there and run your socks off. And he did. We were tuning it up. He yeah. took Bowley and Bobby Charlton yeah. off and then the German scored three. Go, no, but it is, it, it, you know, that's what you've got to do. You know, and even if a fella's sort of played 60 minutes against you, mm. worked his socks off and you go, well, you're not doing it today, Barry, we're bringing bed yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. And the next minute, I'll, you know, go back to the City game. But the, the more we get, you know, we can get fit yeah. and, and, and have a squad to pick from, well, the better we'll the, be. The other thing, before you go on with that, I, just, I don't know what your thoughts are. Me and Ped have said it loads of times. We were, we were kind of saying about four weeks ago, why have we even bought Yeah, Alan? why have we bought What's Alan the Lennon? point? He hasn't even tried him on the left-hand side because yeah. he's the kind of fella that he'll just run up and down all day. Yeah, yeah. So why why didn't we use him on the left-hand side? When Delafay is flying yeah. on that, like Lennon to me, he's, he's, he's an insurance policy yeah, yeah. he will get back and work so he's not a liability yeah. so why was he never used on that left no you're right he could have done I mean Pina was only given his cameo roles in, and when yeah. Baines he was playing but as you say I don't think Baines would mind Lennon in front of him no. um, so uh, well it, it again it's down to the manager he, he, whether it crossed his mind I don't know but yeah. maybe because Delafay was getting such fantastic headlines which is quite right and he was putting some great balls in maybe you know, you know he's thinking you know, too too, too, maybe, too, yeah, too slim, similar maybe. But we've seen since then that they're not, they're not similar. Yeah. No, not you, so. you know, Delafay is fantastic going forward. He doesn't really doesn't like running run back. The and way, then no. Lennon will work all day long. And, you know, you watched them on, on Saturday again at Stoke. I mean, he beat two players. That's him. He was fantastic. fantastic. Oh. And then he's cut it back. And I, I thought Lukaku was looking because he's hit it, but his second shot is that, you know, yeah, Buckland's you know, saved really well. If you watch that again, no, Seamus makes a great run to the back post, yeah. and if he, if he just delays, just across, you could have yeah. just put it across, but... Well, it was like the, the Funus Molly one. He, he should have took it on his chest. He headed it wide, he could have put it down on his chest and just lashed him out. He wouldn't have hit the goal, would he? Who, who are we to say? <laughs> but even, I was about to say, and even on Saturday, something that I was I was really happy he'd done, was he brought Roma for the last 15 minutes and put Coney yeah. on the front. Yeah. Again, that's something we've been saying for ages. Stop bringing Coney on in positions mm, where really people like Lennon really. can come on. Yeah. If Rom's not fit or he's not up for it, if Coney's the only replacement, then put Coney on up front. I and thought, Coney nearly scores with you know his first what, touch. I thought Lukaku don't consider I he was I, I thought his old up. He wasn't doing the runs we want him yeah, to yeah. do, but he's not fit, but his old up. Yeah, right. was fantastic. It was fantastic at the weekend. And I've been critical, certainly last season, because he couldn't do that role. And this year, he's got to where he's gone up another level for me. Every time he's in, he was big and strong. Well, maybe, he was well, old well, maybe because of the three, and he's brought Coley on. But as you say, if you've signed him as a centre forward, yeah. what Play are you him. putting wide on the right? Yeah. You know, you just yeah. keep saying to you, what does he bring? You know, we say it all the time. Now, whether 
it's good, bad, and indifferent the result we get. But you just think, well, pick the player that you're signing for yeah. in that position. Playing where he and, 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 play. and you should do more just to say, well, look, you know, even you know, this is a game is, is game time, is, is when you're talking if we're 1 0 up mm. and it's just not happening. You know, just tell the Kaku to hold the ball up and win yeah. three kicks. Yeah. But, uh, so put them, I, I just think it's a waste of, of a substitute. Yeah. Really yeah. Do throw put them in a different position. Yeah, in a yeah. different position. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Especially when you've got those other options exactly. there as well. Who are, you know, well, that's what you can point at him now. If you can never get Roberto in here, you can say that to him, but that's the thing, you know, did it cross your mind? You know, why did you put Coney on well, the I'll be asking him other questions before you... I get to that no, one. No, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going to start. Hey, what the bleed now are you doing at that concert? <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, listen, if he wants to give it all that, <laughs> he can do that every week, and we can film him every week, as long as oh, he's uh, 3-0 yeah, yeah, the next yeah. game, he can do whatever he bloody wants. But uh, I was amazed, none of the... I think if um, if Coney would have slotted at the end there, uh, and it would have been 4-0 and over, I think he would have seen a little bit of that. Like, yeah, I think at 3... I, I must I have was still worried at 3 nil. 89 minutes still when worried. Ireland did that one over, I was thinking... Oh my God! Thank God that didn't go in because yeah. then three minutes would have been like hours in case they'd have got a long. five minutes over. That's wasn't it. You yeah. like that? Yeah. Aren't there's eight. Oh my God! Thanks I know. Yeah. Still, uh, st- I was still worrying about that. I mean, listen, let's be honest. That is a, a brilliant result. Yeah. I sat here after after the uh, the Newcastle game and said, I, "I want us to, you know, obviously if we can win, it's great six points in a week, but a draw will be all right going there. That's a fantastic result. You know, oh yeah, three nil at Stoke." Is a fantastic result, and like you said, it could have been six or seven, and not on a day where you go, "Oh, we could have beat them six or seven. It, it should have been." No, I six think or I think seven. the good thing is it's it's not the same players as well. I mean, everyone played well. I mean, you can go from your eight to your nines, you know, throughout a team. How many did you get that through the season? Yeah. But I just thought everyone from back to front was, was superb. Mm-hmm. It really did, and and again, it's it's when you go to to a hard place like Stoke, you know we've lost the last three years there, mm. so it's not an easy place yeah, to go to. No. And when you've got a full squad or whatever you got, or the time of year, you know you're going to get a game. And I just thought that from first minute to the last, it was you know it, it was, was great. Superb. To, it really was, was great to spank them as well after yeah, that, yeah. after that last minute penalty debacle at Goodison. Well, somebody you seen the photo that took of Mark Hughes, the kipper on him in, he the, in the interview. Happy, was he? Oh, he wasn't happy, mate. And I, I, I couldn't wait to hear. Uh, Come on, Mark, what are you going to say? <laughs> you know, I was down to shout out, you go, Tom, did you? <laughs> you know, but, but I couldn't, I had to hold it back. Hold it back a little bit. Brilliant. That's the BBC employee, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no. Mild truck. Yeah, yeah. Ron, you've got a big night coming up. Uh, Derek Temple, 50 years since the 66 Cup fight. You were there, weren't you, Baz? You were in that picture with Muhammad Ali, aren't you? I wasn't you? even a twinkle. <laughs> If I was there, so were you. Right? Well, I don't, want, I don't want to say I was there. I was there with my granddad and my dad, and um, it was fantastic. And I mean, Derek, we're doing a tribute night, mm. as you know. Some fantastic surprises. I can't really say oh, now. I know um, them, and they are fantastic. But that doesn't. But that obviously, <laughs> obviously, but I'll, I'll tell you. But you, you know, you got to hang on that. You can't say nothing. But it, I would um, find he's 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 a proper. When I say a proper legend, I mean yeah, he, oh, he, he he's come up through the ranks. He Liverpool school boys, obviously at Everton. Um, Still around the place, but I just think that for me is is when I fell in love with Evan. I'd been to Evan before that, but when you see a cup final, and um, you know you're getting beat two 0 you're twelve years of age, there's tears in your eyes. I always remember my granddad said, "We'll beat these lad." I thought, "Granddad, I love you, but you're lying, aren't you?" <laughs> so the next minute we win three two, and then obviously, you know, as a supporter, fantastic. You ended up later in life, obviously with Brian Le Bowen and all these, and then you play for the club. But Eddie Cavana and all these, it's just an iconic cup fan. Yeah, it's yeah, just oh, fantastic. Yeah. And with Derek again, um, scored the winning goal, but he's ever so humble. He's such a lovely man. You yeah, know, obviously, you've met I him mean, yourself. Yeah. Um, you could talk to him all day. Lovely, lovely man. And again, I've done one for Howard, done one for Joe Royal. And obviously, Derek for me is fantastic. Mm. So we're doing a fantastic trip. We've got DVDs, which we're getting specially made of, of you know, about Derek. Um, and then to celebrate the 50 years of the FA Cup win. Um, I just think it's fantastic. I mean, where did the years go? Obviously, but that's why we've got to get silverware again, lads. Yes, we've yeah. got to get these next generation. I'm fed up with telling my grandkids and everybody else. Honestly, we, we did used to win silverware, <laughs> um, but it, it's there. I mean, I mean the Bournemouth one. I keep saying, you know, we, we should target two cups a year. You know, well one with the two cup competitions because I think it's it's just a fantastic buzz about yeah, everything. Yeah. And I just think Evertonians do love a good cup mm-hmm. run. Um, it's like us talking about it now. 
50 years on. 50 years. Um, you know, that, that's what football and it's like heritage uh, history, that's what it's all it's about. It's like, I mean, for the younger li- viewers, it's like it's like if Ross scored in the final, isn't it? If he scored the winning goal in the cup final, just means that little bit extra, doesn't oh, it? Because yeah. it's an Evertonian. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, the songs about Ross and all that, and every time you look at them, it's what local kids yeah. you, you want to do. Yeah, and, and, and that's what you want to be in a game, because it's, it's Wembley or wherever. I, I just think to win it, uh, well, there's no better cup final yeah. for me since. You know, to be getting beat two 0 and then to come back and, and score the three goals yeah. is, is absolutely fantastic. And uh, you know, for for the man, as, as I say, to uh, be so humble about it every time you talk about it, you know, you be talking every, you know, what, what do you want to know about? Mm. I, I scored the winning goal. Oh yes, yes. I, you know, do you want a yeah. couple of hours talking about it? <laughs> when when is it? It's the 6th of May, uh, Friday the 6th of May at the Devonshire House Hotel. If you want to go on our website, Health Through Sport, www. Healththroughsport.co.uk. All the information's on there, and we've got it. Where we've got a competition which I never told you about. But, um, so we've, got, we've got a competition in the Echo. It was uh, okay. Phil Kemper and I put it in on on Saturday, so I think we might have all been at the match. Um, but it's the memories of the cup final. Your granddad might have told you about it if you're not young enough or old enough to have been there. Um, but my, my, dad, my, granddad, my granddad wasn't an Everton. It, it could be travelling to the match. You, you're it, you're tight. How did you get your ticket? Yeah. Um, did you have a, a bevy down in London after the warm? Um, did you see Muhammad Ali? Were you there? Well, well, if anyone's yeah. there? well, I'll give you the free ticket if you're actually there. Yeah. You, can, you can come and tell us that story. But if you go on to the website, as I say, you can you can just send your entry into there. I'll go through the best stories. They're getting printed on the night of the programme, and obviously two tickets Brilliant. to the three there winners. You go. So there's two tickets for uh, as I say for each story. But if you're um, as I say St George's Plateau. Well, we've got the DVD which we're putting together where they were fighting at St George's Hall. You've never seen nothing like the crowd. It's unbelievable. And the more I was looking at it, you get ears on the back of it, and you go, here we go again. But if you can, as I say, any story about the road to Wembley, you might might be thinking of something else uh, about 1966. Or did you meet Derek? You know, uh, any anything, I'd, yeah. I'd appreciate that. And as I say, we'll, we'll get the winners out there and... You know, fantastic night. Do you have it? Tell you, tell your dad, tell your granddads. If you obviously you're not old enough to be there, and if you've got any good stories, get two two tickets. We'll put all the information as well out there. Uh, any comments about this game? Comments about Lennon, the goalkeeping situation, John Stone's situation? All in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're heading for seven thousand. Get us to seven thousand. We're on Twitter, of course. It is at Toffee TV. We're on Facebook. It is Facebook.com. Toffee TV, EFC, all those things. Big thanks for Ronnie for coming in. We'll be back soon on Toffee TV.